Welcome back to our brand new series. I have found out that going Dutch isn't all it is cooked up to be because we have had a desperate trouble in pulling a squad together for the opening day of the season. Hello and a warm welcome to episode two of Going Dutch as we try and turn around a Dutch side which has been relegated from the Ere Divise, in this case a Volvic, uh, and return them to the top flight and hopefully leave them as an established side. And this is our journey. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have the opening two games of the uh, Dutch football season. Uh, match day one and match day two versus Telstar and then FC Eindhoven away at Telstar. And then uh, I believe we're at home to uh, FC Eindhoven. Uh, but as I mentioned in the preamble, we've been having terrible trouble. Um, we ended up with a squad and about four uh, substitutes. Bearing in mind here in Holland, you can have 12 substitutes on the bench. And uh, I think I did comment in the last episode. Uh, wow, four, 12 uh, substitutes. But I mean, we could only put like a third on the bench and we've struggled even even so uh, so we got a week out from the first game having played all of our um pre-season games and uh when we took out the players that were in on trial um basically we had hardly a squad and in some positions we had one player and if they get injured sent off or anything else we're in desperate trouble uh, so we've had to do a bit of shoring up and um, a bit of panic buying, I would say, uh, in some cases. Brought in a couple of loans and all the rest of it. We'll have a look at all that in just a moment. Um, but one thing you could help me with down in the comments, if you've played a Dutch league before, is seem to have struck on a little bit of a problem. In as much as the board will allow me, I don't know, seven, half, eight thousand uh, pounds in wages for some players, yet other players the limit is like 3700 um just doesn't make any 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 sense at all as to how it works or why it works for some players and doesn't work for other players if there's something that i'm missing is there some logistics around you can only certain players over a certain age can only have so much money or or whatever I don't know. Um, I'll try and give you some examples as we get to it. Don't forget, if you do enjoy today's episode, though, leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button. And as I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've uh, managed in uh, Holland before and you know the ins and outs of it and can understand it a bit better than I'm understanding it at the moment. But then I suppose it's all a bit of a learning curve. Maybe we'll learn together. Right, well, let's have a look then at what's been going on. Uh, we'll have a look at the squad in just a moment. But uh, as you see, we have completed our friendly campaign. Uh, we've won four of the five friendlies, losing the last one. And I, that one was because um, I've taken out a lot of the uh, players uh, that we're in on trial and uh, tried to go with a side uh, that predominantly um, would be playing here at the start of the season. And it didn't go well, as you see, against uh, Vigo um vigo are from la liga and uh yeah didn't it, it didn't go well uh we did beat sparta rotterdam two goals to nil limari and marger marger um kirk raid uh we played them in a friendly min and fleeder uh three two win in that one denda four nil win sully sal who was one of the players that we couldn't sign um I'll, I'll show you an example in a moment. Uh, Chris Lacessa, the other scorer, Sal getting a hat trick uh, against Coronia. Uh, David Min giving us a 1 0 win from the penalty spot in that game. Close game. Uh, and as I say, with that loss to Vigo, but uh, um, a consolation goal from Kun uh, right at the end. Um, we'll have a look at uh, signings in a moment. I just want to show you this, though. So we've we've desperately been wanting to try and sign uh, Sal, um, but if I go and make an offer, and I don't know if it'll let me do it because I've just done it recently, it won't because I've uh, just done it recently. 
Uh, but basically, you see once seven and a half to nine and three quarters, there or thereabouts. Um, yay. But the board will only let me give him 3.7. So you would think, OK, you've got a wage limit mark. But straight away, they've allowed me to buy a goalkeeper at 7.7 thousand. OK, the other limits are 3,700. Maybe there's an upper limit on goalkeepers. I don't know. What is... I, I just don't understand. I'm, 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 I'm at a loss to understand why. It looks like th for outfield players, 3,700 seems to be the upper limit for some unknown reason. But uh, I can't fathom it out uh, myself as to... Uh, yeah what what's what's going on with this at all let's switch that back to the ability uh, as i had it let's have a look at transfers in then uh because we have been doing as i said um almost some almost some panic buying it uh to some extent um first player in wasn't one of ours i don't think uh limari from fc eindhoven on a freebie uh luke waters has gone out on loan that was last year uh, so he's not out. He's he's actually in campus uh, this time round. Uh, we've brought in Salmani. As I said, we did want a goalkeeper. We've brought him in. Um, he is Albanian. He's uh, on a contract for three years. At seven and three quarter thousand pounds a week. He's our top uh, earner. Um, And he has come from uh, Tirana. Um, he's been around and about a little bit, but uh, mainly playing in Turkey. And then now he's uh, native Albania uh, in their Super League. Uh, he had a good season last season in, in Tirana. Um, 7.66, uh, 12 um, appearances, um, conceded 10 goals in those. Uh, so uh, around about a goal a game. Uh, so hopefully he will do the business for us. Uh, then um, we have brought in Kun. Uh, he was one of the trialists. Um, he's an uh, out-and-out striker, can play in the attacking playmaker role if we want him to, but it's best in that striker role, and we did need another striker. Um, previously played for Lincoln, G um, Gibraltar, and Zamora. Um, he, he did have a period of time back in 2017 uh, with Leeds United. Uh, so he's uh, been around Bulgarian and uh, four, three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability. Um, but hopefully he can do the business uh, for us up front. We didn't uh, sell money. He's a three and a half star, three and a half star potential as well. Uh, this was the start of the panic uh, buying. Um, I think there is possibly another loan in the thing. In fact, uh, I think we've put it on hold at the moment um, just to see where things are after this first game. Um Lizasi, uh, Lizastis, um, he's a 19-year-old Hungarian. Um, he is currently three and a half stars, got the potential to be a five-star ability. Um, he is on loan from us from Eintracht Frankfurt for the season. Um, and uh, as you see, it's, uh, Eintracht Frankfurt uh, for Vare, Faracenfus. I uh, pronounced that probably wrong. Uh, prior to that, but uh, seemed to be a bit of a gap in his uh, CV there. Oh, no, it's not. 90, 2019 to 2024. Then he's gone to Eintracht Frankfurt, and we've got him on loan uh, for the season. So uh, hopefully he can do. Uh, we've predominantly brought him in as an attacking midfielder. Can play out wide, which is his preferred position, uh, but uh, we will probably use him as attacking midfielder more often than not. Terence Kungalu. Um, we needed some defensive shoring up. Can play on the left side of defence as well, but uh, his uh, preferred position is in the centre of defence, which is probably where we use him. Um, heading 13, jumping reach 14. He's six foot two. Uh, currently three and a half star. Uh, potential is three and a half star as well. He was at um, Sporting Club Rapid um, and half AC before that. Um, scoring two goals for SK uh, Rapid last season. Uh, so Terence Kongalu is in then. And finally, Matty Pollock just come in yesterday. Uh, it's come from Watford uh, on loan. Another defender, um, central defender, three-star current ability, 
uh, four and a half star potential ability, 22 years old. Uh, we've got him in for the season. And, um, well, we'll see how he goes, as says, at Watford, Aberdeen, Cheltenham and Grimsby, previous clubs. Uh, we probably need a couple of other positions, but uh, we'll look at that in due course. Outgoing, um, Romatero uh, has gone to Groningen. I think we mentioned that in the last episode. And Adawoi um, has gone to Westerloo. And I think as somebody commented on the last episode, he could be a big loss to us. Um, and uh, we'll probably need to replace him. I don't know whether the two that we defenders that we have brought in will do the job or not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, could be a big loss. Sean Adewayo, um is uh, is definitely a bit of a problem to us. But hopefully we can uh, we can sort out. But uh, say uh, w it wouldn't have been so bad had we not uh, had struggled with some of the um, um, people that we had it on uh, trial with us. In fact, I've filtered that so that you can't see them at the minute. Uh, we'll put them back into the thing. Uh, one of them was Christian uh, uh, Rodriguez. Um, and uh, we could have signed him, but uh, it just they wouldn't let me uh, spend the money. Um, so it is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm not sure what it is that I need to do to put it right, but uh, we will see in uh, due course. Um, the other uh, defender that we've, at the moment, we've agreed a deal with, but uh, I'm not sure, is £8,000. They've let me spend £8,000 on a 33-year-old, but they won't let me spend it on other players. It does really just does not make any sense at all. As I say, if you know something that I don't, let me know down in the comments. Right, let's get on with it then. Let's get on with our first two games of the season. First up is a uh, match against in the Kuchen Campion de Vise. Um, it's a match against um, Telstar. And uh, Telstar, if we uh, have a quick look, where are we? Here we go. Uh, Telstar, um, they got did where the yeah, did they get relegated last season? Um, overview. Um, last season they finished twentieth in this league, so no, they didn't. Um, previously finished ninth in the season. It looks like they've spent most of their um, time in this particular division, not going anywhere especially. Um, so. Let's go and have a look at the team then that will face uh, Telstar, see if we are um, able to go and get a win and uh, keep our, our pre-season form going, bearing in mind that we don't have uh, our trialists to hand. And here is the team that will face a Telstar in our opening game of the season. And... Uh, the team looks like this. Uh, Salmani makes his debut in goal. Latonda uh, Congalu, who's uh, come in, making his debut. Limori, who's been away on international duty. And Leveld is uh, our defensive line. Van der Bouche, uh is uh, in front of them. Avro and Udekil, uh or is it Udekili? Um, are in midfield. Uh, new debutante Lis, uh, Listes is in behind Min and Kun up front. I'm going to have to change his name because uh, I can't pronounce that. Tomenikos, Um But we'll call him Kun for now. Is up front. And then on the bench, we have a bench of 12, which includes some of the youth players. Uh, Vesson is our uh, substitute goalkeeper. Waters uh, Gary B Pollock, who is also uh, one of the new players. Zenguin, Simmons, Filder, uh, Quedlevec, uh, Lukesa, Harmazaz, Harmaziz, uh, Salanez and Magre, Magre uh, are the uh, bench. Well, let's go and see if we can get a result against Telstar. And here we are, opening game of the season. Telstar playing a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder. We are playing a narrow, diamondy type of formation. Playing in our way kit today. Dark green. And a table that tells us diddly squat this point in the season. Can we get off to a good start? That's the question. A 
28 minutes on the clock. It is a very cagey affair up till now. And uh, Telstar with the ball, seed off. It's cut out. And uh, Demboge, Latonda, Congolou. Liz Tess. Liz Tess is on his own. He's going to have a shot from there. And he's drilled that in the bottom corner. And uh, Liz Tess gets a first goal and the goal of the season. Not goal of the season, but first goal of the season. <laughs> I just thought I'd clarify that. And Liz Tess picked that ball up and he had a drive from just outside the D. Beat the goalkeeper. 1-0. And half-time has arrived. And we've kept them to one shot, uh, which wasn't on target. 0.21, uh, albeit they have had 56% of the possession. And we've had four shots, two of which are on target. Uh, 0.27 and 44% of the possession. A very quiet first half, apart from the goal. This test with a corner. A short one to Vraro. And Cunn just over the top. Uh, second attempt. 73 minutes on the clock. Uh, goal kick for Telstar. Kian Dort coming down this wing. Vraro. Cutting it out, Congolo to Varro. Varro comes forward. What's Varro going to do with this? He's gone to Oakhill. Through to Khan. Khan puts it away. His first goal of the season, our second. And on 74 minutes, we take a 2-0 lead. And uh, we have kept them under control because uh, last time I looked, there was only one shot they still had. And... Uh, not produced anything in the second half. Not that we've produced a lot, but uh, we don't need many chances. And with 78, nearly 79 minutes on the clock, uh, having scored uh, that second goal, we're going to make two changes, and uh, they are, are to the right side of our defence. Matty Pollock makes his debut. We'll just check that he's uh, on central defender. He is. And uh, we've also brought on Yaren Gary, uh, to replace uh, the uh, tiring Julian Lederveld. The goal kick, 82 minutes on the clock. Telstar coming forward again. Seedorf down this wing. It's gone all the way back to Gillard. Gillard chips one over the top. Seedorf. Lies deck. And inside, Seedorf had made the move, and uh, it's a good save from uh, Silmani in the goal. That's what we brought him in for. Lee's deck. That's crossed in, and Min heads it away. Gillard is going to get there, though. And we'll see the save from behind the goal. Seedorf. Cross this in, and it was a first-time hit from Van de Greek. Uh, but uh, Selmani managing to make the save. Throwing on that far side, Gillett. And uh, he's uh, passed it inside. It's chipped deep, looking for Lee's deck. Headed away. But Seedorf comes away with it. It's not dead yet. Gillard out to Seedorf, who stayed wide. Gillard. Piet, Seedorf, calls the damage just now. It's crossed deep, and he scored. Uh, Din Herrick gets one back on 85. Now we're going to have to be very careful. And, uh, getting up. Beating Selmani. Question whether he was offside, I think. No, he's not. Who were the defenders? Pollock, one of them. I'm guessing that was uh, Gary. And with 84 minutes on the clock, making two more changes one uh, to our defence. Uh, we have taken off um, Latonda, uh, Thierry Latonda, and brought on uh, Luke Waters. And uh, the other change that we made is we've taken off Den Bouget, and uh, brought on Kevin Fielida, uh, who uh, probably prefers to play as a uh, halfback, which we will put him as. 
and uh, they are the changes and with 87 minutes on the clock making our final change uh, Margaret comes on and uh, we've taken off uh, David Min Salmani with a goal kick and uh, that's headed down Felida is there Felida has Congolou out to Waters Waters what's he going to do with this can he get this into the box he can it's deep it's deep it's looking for one of our players didn't find him but Gary is out there Gary O'Keel, O'Keel puts it away, and uh, it's an own goal, actually. Quite sure we'll see it from behind to see how it became an own goal. It's headed out. Gary is there. Oh, yeah. It was going wide, and it was Van Garazvan that give us, and it's all over. We've started our campaign in the uh, Kukun Campion. Uh, with a 3 1 uh, win, uh, Liz Tess uh, 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 and uh, an own goal given us that win 14 shots, 5 on target, 1.18 on the XG, 44% of the possession. They have 4 shots, 2 on target, uh, 0.69, and 56% of the possession. I think we can be relatively happy with that as a starting point. Um, as we go in, a man of the match for Liz Tess, uh, 7.8 um, goals, of course. Uh, he had two key passes um, created and, uh, of course, a goal. So he's had a good day. Let's go and have a look and see how the rest of the day's gone. And here's the rest of the day's uh, matches. Uh, Grappenschap uh, beating Maastricht. Uh, Willian the second beating Den Bosch. Uh, Excelsior beating Dordrecht, uh, Young AZ uh, beating FC Eindhoven, our second opponents of the episode, of course. Uh, Groningen FC Groningen beating MN 4 3, Utrecht and uh, Young Utrecht and Young Ajax 0 0. Um, Breda uh, beating uh, Den Haag by four goals to three. Uh, VVV uh, Ven uh, Venlo beating, uh, no, not beating, drawing. With PSV 2-2, uh, we beat uh, Telstar 3-1, of course, and Hellman Sports beating Topos uh, by two goals to one, which leaves the table. I know it's early days and you can... Stakes and Ladders comes to mind, uh, but we are third uh, in a bunch of teams that have won their opening game of the season, a couple of draws in there, and then obviously the rest at the bottom. But you can very quickly move from bottom to top, top to bottom, uh, simply by winning or drawing or losing games coming up. Um, so that is how it's going to be. Uh, we have a week down to games played on Friday in this uh, particular league. And our next game is against FC Eindhoven. We'll come right back just ahead of that game. So you come back and join me just ahead of the game against uh, FC Eindhoven. And it's happening all over again uh, for Lida. Uh, we had three offers for him. Uh, one we have accepted, PEC Zawal, uh, Oswele, um, 950,000, uh, climbing to 1.2 million. I thought to myself, it'll be easy, we'll just replace him. Uh, no, because uh, any players that of any ilk whatsoever that are as good as or better than Felida, um just basically the ball just blocked they want sort of six six and a half uh k a week and uh the ball just go 3.7 3.7 3 point i can't i just cannot uh think so we may well have to turn this when it comes through um we may well have to turn it uh down which uh, is going to cause a problem with felida um I'm, I'm really not sure what to do um again any ideas stick them in the comments uh, right, uh, for second game of the season then, FC Eindhoven, this isn't going to be easy, is it? FC Eindhoven uh, is our second game of the season. Can we get off to that good start? Our first home match of the season at the Manda Makers uh, Stadion. Let's go and have a good team that faces Eindhoven. And here is the team uh, that faces FC Eindhoven in our first home game of the season. Salmani continues in goal. Latonda, 
Congolu Pollock uh, making his uh, debut, uh, starting debut, should I say. Uh, Liveld is in uh, the right back position. Uh, Dembois, uh, Dembuge, I, I'm going to have to, to, to learn how to pronounce that. Van den Bush uh, is the defensive midfielder. Vro and Oakley is in front of him. Uh, Listes uh, is behind Min and Kun up front. And then on the bench, we have Vassen, Waters, Gary, Lumari, Zigwin, Simmons, Felida, for how much longer are those? Uh, Quaid of Leg, uh, Lucessa, Hamaz, uh Selenes, and Magre. And here we are at home for the first time, playing our by now familiar formation, 4-3-3. And they are playing uh, a 4-3-3, but uh, with a defensive midfielder, two wide players. We're currently third. They are currently 20th. And we have a throw in on that far side. It's crossed in and it's dropped. And the goalkeeper made a holix of that and Kun making a profit 21 minutes and uh, couldn't tell for a minute who was doing the throw in based on the fact they blended in a bit. Lavelle to O'Kill and Lavelle to cross that back in. Goalkeeper punches it, but punches it straight into the path of Kun, who says thank you very much. I like from the restart and uh, get underway. There's always a bit of a worry. Of course, unless we can get another one, we can get another one. O'Kill, Varro, Listez, through to Khan. Khan misses the target this time. And that was probably easier of the two. I thought we were going to go two up in two minutes there. Listez through, saw the run of Khan, but Khan on his wrong foot, really. Goal kick. Oh, missed. Pollock. Tidies up, but he's not tidied up properly. Congolou, Listes, and we're on the attack again. Min, Vero, nice ball. O'Kill, O'Kill chips the goalkeeper. It's come back over the woodwork, I think. They have a free kick just outside the box. Dangerous Sliegers. He's going to go direct. No, he's not. He's given it up. And somebody else coming in here. Kuku. And he's gone direct. Come back off the woodwork. Listez is there to tidy up. And we can counter Min. Leveld with a throw on that far side to O'Kill. Leveld. And Vro is sort of tripped, but nothing given. Latonda. And he's robbed. Latonda comes back and wins it, though. He wasn't going to be beaten. Congolou. Varro. Latonda. Latonda cross it into the box. Nobody there. Varro. Well defended. Varro will attack again. Chips this one deep. It's headed clear, but only as far as Lavelle. Lavelle into the area. Lavelle puts it away. His first goal of the season. And Julian Lavelle gives us a two goal lead after 35 minutes. Vero crossing this ball in and it's headed clear and Lavelle, despite being tripped there, steadied himself and put it away. Free kick Vero with a free kick chipped deep, but goalkeeper this time collects. And the highlight is going to continue. It's launched a long one. Pollock brings that down very nicely. O'Kill. Back to Pollock. Leveld. Got the second of the two goals, of course. Pollock. 42 minutes on the clock. Vero. Vero. And that's a poor ball. But uh, O'Kill wins it back and goes out to Leveld. Leveld. O'Kill. Dembois. Vero is choose a daisy cutter and the goalkeeper pushing it wide. It's going to creep in that bottom corner, I think. Listes. 
with the corner swung deep but straight into the arms I think it was Pollock who headed it straight at the goalkeeper half time has arrived uh, we've had nine shots seven of which have been on target 1.28 only 40% of the possession though um, they've had one shot uh, nothing on target 0 0.04 pretty much how it was in the last game uh, but of course we know that the other side came back into it in the last game Tailstar um, but it's been a fairly good first half despite not having the bulk of the possession 62 nearly 63 minutes on the clock Listes with a free kick and he's chipped it deep looking for somebody on that far side Demboise Demboise tried to curl it and he's uh, gone wide and with 68 minutes on the clock making two changes Latunda is off uh, he's picked up a knock uh, he's trying to shake it off uh, we've replaced him with uh, Luke Waters and uh, coming on uh, to uh, uh, in place of David Min is Magre. And uh, one other change that we've made is Yasin Yukil, uh, Yukili, um, who's uh, he's not having such a good day today. We've replaced him with Kevin Felida, who could be making his last appearance for us. Another free kick. List this, this time chips it deep. And it's uh, rippled the net. I thought it had gone in. And with 79 minutes on the clock, making one more change, uh, we have uh, taken off. Uh, who have we taken off? I've forgotten who we've taken off now. Oh, yes. Uh, we have taken off Listez and uh, brought on Lukesa. And we've seen the game out. It's all over. And uh, a 2-0 win against FC Eindhoven. And a uh, good day at the office. Julian Lavelle's having a fantastic game. Player of the match. Two key passes. One clear-cut chance created a goal and an assist for a 9.3. He did very, very well. 15 shots. Nine of them were on target. 1.70. 43% of the possession uh, against Eindhoven. Six shots. Two on target. 0.61. And 57% of the possession um, that's the way we want to keep our home record and uh, that's what we'll be looking for uh, to keep that one going um, and uh, we'll see whether we progress with that of course uh, good day at the office then let's see where that leaves us after this round of games well the second round of games and we are still in third place uh, one of only four teams with a 100% record after two games having said that uh, Dan Haag and Telstar still have to play, but Den Haag and Telstar, neither of them won on their opening day of the season. So it will remain as the two, as the four. Uh, we'll have a look at the table in the moment. In a moment, uh, uh, Young Ajax beating Den Bosch 3 0. Young AZ beating a Young a PSV 3 0. Excelsior 3. Uh, Emmen 2. Groningen 2. Jeffstap uh, or Grafstap Shap uh, 2. Uh, Hellman uh, Sport 1, Dorderect 1, Maastricht 2, Young Uterect 0. Uh, we beat Eindhoven 2 0, of course. Venlo and Topos 0 uh, 0, and Willem uh, beating Breda by a goal to 0, which means Young AZ are top on 6 points. Uh, second, Excelsior also on 6. Uh, Val, uh, Valvik 6th, uh, um, sorry, 3rd on 6. Uh, Willem fourth on six, and then FC Groningen are fifth on four. Uh, so that's how it stands after the two matches uh, so far in the season. We're going to come back for the. Uh, we're going to play Young AZ, uh, leading the pack at the moment, uh, top of the table, of course. Uh, so that's going to be a toughie, albeit at home. And then we'll uh, have uh, Den Haag uh, away. And then we will come back for Willem the second and Jon Ajax in the next episode. Willem the second and Young Ajax. Uh, hopefully, we will have sorted out some of our uh, transfer woes in the meantime and uh, worked out how we're going to get around those. And hopefully, some of you left me a comment and let me know what is to do. And uh, hopefully, we will work it out.
before the next episode at least that's what i'm hoping uh if you've enjoyed today's episode leave me that big thumbs up subscribe hit the notification button don't forget to leave me the comment let me know if you know any of the things i've mentioned in today's uh, episode um and of course by hitting the notification button to keep you up to date with all the future episodes of going dutch and our other series bottom to the top as they are released and new episodes of going dutch released every monday and thursday at 4 15 p.m best way of keeping up to date what's happening on the channel is to follow me on x formally uh, not formally no but x at just offside two thank you for watching i hope to see you for the next episode it's gonna be episode three it's out on monday until then have a good weekend and hopefully england will be european champions by the time i speak to you next fingers crossed see you then bye bye